we've just published our January update, which reflects what has changed in the market since our last release in October. Well, whatever your newspapers are telling you, from our point of view, really not much has happened. Well, like most of the things that happened um, this quarter, there are things that are interesting and there are things that are new and only they're only news from our point of view if they're both. So the rate rise was well um, happened in November, but everybody had been expecting it from the summer. And actually, some of the momentum behind the rate rise had gone from the market. And on the day that the rate rise was actually announced, long-term rates actually fell. Well, it is great news for investors, and that's what most investors would like most quarters to be like. But in the long run, we have a, a problem. What's good for bonds is generally a slowdown. What's good for equities is generally accelerating growth. Um, they can both happen at the same time for a little while, but at some point we will come down on one side or the other. Well, no news means not much change generally. There are only really two notable exceptions. Emerging markets continue to have an improving outlook. Um, and for property, um, it seems that prices and fundamentals may have moved apart a bit. So the outlook there is a bit worse. Also, um, some investors will find, particularly shorter term ones, will find that cash may have become preferable to bonds for that. But otherwise it's been very quiet.